One person media company. A marketing strategy crafted for non-digital natives that are rainmakers, i.e. they bear revenue responsibility for a really small, say one to 10 employee organization. So where did this strategy come from? Well, it came from me. I'm Jason Hobbs. I'm 43 year old entrepreneur. I have you know, a three dog pack and we all serve a cat provisor, Darcy. And I got my first computer. I first went online when I was 31 years of age. So I founded Jason Hobbs LLC in 2008. In 2010, I got my marketing degree with honors. I worked very hard for that honor. Um, and ever since, well, really the whole time I've been working on the one person media company strategy from my location, the Hobbs family home, which is, you know, in South Georgia, Fitzgerald, Georgia, right across the street from Fitzgerald High School. When Jason Hobbs LLC first started, I helped people build a website. So I quickly realized that it wasn't field of dreams. Just because you built the website doesn't mean anyone shows up. So from there, I help people build website traffic. But that taught me that just because they show up doesn't mean that they did anything to help the bottom line. I help people convert marketing goals, but a single conversion does not a dynasty make. And I realized the email conversation only serve to give subscribers what they want, when they want it. If you do it that way, then it's a two-way conversation and it becomes a very you know, mutually beneficial relationship and that's what we're shooting for anytime that we have a you know, customer-client relationship. All right, so now I help people build an audience and this is comprised of employing a one-person media company strategy. And you build your direct audience relationship and you build your business and focusing on legacy. Like Jason Hobbs LLC is my mom's retirement. She owns 50%. It's my life's work. It's also you know my humble contribution to the Hobbs and the Hutto um, you know, legacies of both sets of my grandparents. So that's the focus of where this is coming from. Everybody's a media company these days, haven't you heard? It's been around for a while is my point. Like people have been talking about it and people have been accepting that, but specifically the non-digital natives, nobody's explained how does that work, right? So back in 2013, Gary Vaynerchuk put out this video and it's still there on YouTube. Brian Clark, copy blogger, spoke about this concept back at SMX in 2014. I wasn't there, but I heard it was amazing. Life altering even. So, and this is another thing that, you know, Brian Clark, I'm not, this is undated, but I really liked kind of how he explained it, which was every company is a media company, no matter your business model. What does being a media company even mean? Like what, what does that, where does that work out to? Okay. Yeah. I'm a media company now. Let me embrace 2017 and 2018 and so forth. Successful marketing. What is when the rubber hits the road, what does that mean? Okay. So I went to Google, <laughs> obviously. And I typed in you know, media company definition and it wasn't that helpful. Like, you know, basically uh, Wikipedia gave me a bunch of buzzwords, it felt like. And one of the questions that showed up below was what is the media agency? And I felt it kind of you know, started to shed a little light actually here because it started talking about, at least it was talking about something you know, that you needed to know how to do in order to quote unquote, fulfill the model of a media company, which is, know how and where to advertise and you know how to present a positive picture to the public all good stuff but still you know not the total definition at this point right so this is the best one i've found <laughs> and a media company should be defined not by technology nor business model but rather by the audience love that audience any property that successfully aggregates an audience through content is a media company. If you've been doing content marketing and building up an audience, then you're already a media company. <laughs> you just, whether you label yourself that or not, right? Where should you get started being a media company? And this is specific to you, which is you're a non-digital native, one to 10 employee organization. You're the rainmaker for it. You're the one responsible for revenue. So where should you start? 
Start with your foundation. Understand, you may already have the pieces in place and it's just kind of a, a way of reorganizing your, your spin, so to speak, so that you, because the goal of it is to get a return, right? You invest in marketing. You don't just spend marketing money. You invest it. Return on investment, when you're talking about anything you're spending your marketing budget on, any of your marketing money, you know, hosting, website, security, whatever, it's all together in my mind, because it's all delivering back what you, you know, what your business is gonna be built on, which is your audience. So email is your direct two-way conversation. Your website features your media that you create. And don't get me wrong, social media plays a role. Facebook page, YouTube channel, Instagram profile, all the above you're going to want. But the, the point of each of those is to drive people back to your website. That's your core conversation. That's your channel, if you will, because you own that. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you may be going through, they're going to dictate you know, the, when it shows and who it shows to, etc. On your website, it's all you, your choice. So act ASAP. This is huge. This is, you're probably like, yeah, okay, whatever, lip service. No, this is actually the biggest lesson. If you wanna learn from my mistakes over the past 12 years, this is the biggest lesson that you can learn from, which is you know, deploy your simple system for keeping attention and then immediately begin creating content, your media, whatever you do, do you, but you start creating that to attract your audience, right? And you're organizing your audience through your email, through your website. Organize your own audience. Your core audience are the people connected to your email list. They can get your email sequences, broadcast emails about new content, but also your marketing efforts. Your email subscribers are your buyers long term. Your marketing money must deliver and foster attention for your business, period. I start with a system to keep the attention before I start running coaching campaigns month to month. You do those obviously to get attention, but you don't get attention until you have a system in place and you're constantly iterating that and testing that so that you can constantly improve it. If you want more, I put together, I'm, this is the first of a 10 part series, it may grow from there, I'm not sure, of videos that I'm organizing into three modules to help you do it yourself, to get started going, doing a one person media company strategy for your really small business or organization. And also I recommend, you know, definitely book a call. I'd love to have a conversation. Skype video is always great because I can record it and we, I'll give you a copy. And the idea is I want to be able to you know, help you get your, your act up and running and you don't have to put a bunch of money into it. Start out with what you have, use what you have to start building because it's, you need the repetition, you need the practice reps. The point is you have to kind of put your pieces together and it's gonna take a little while. It's not gonna be perfect from the beginning, but it's okay because when you're first getting started, nobody's listening anyway, you know? they come, That comes later. Once you you actually have a voice and you're starting to do things you know, well and there's a consistency there and you know so forth.